y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers, and welcome to any new viewers. So, like always, if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. So, we're going to kick it all off, sorry, we're going to kick it off with what you're going to be needing for this project, which I'm going to show you. So, let's get to it. Alright y'all, so I'm super excited to do this project. I saw this first item that you're going to need at Dollar Tree and I fell in love with it and this is where I got the idea. So what you're going to need is a reindeer. It does not have to be red. They have other color ones. I think they have gold and maybe silver. But I absolutely fell in love with this so I picked this. So you need one of these reindeers. It's a pretty big sign. So that's the first thing you're going to need. And you're going to need one of these loops, hoops, whatever you want to call it. This is from a three pack of gold ones. I did a video on how to make a snowman decor piece for the wall. This was the head. This is the smallest one. So I can actually put that down in the link down below so you can watch that video and see what I'm talking about also. So you'll need that or something around this size. So you're going to need some zip ties and this that is called something that I'm thinking of right now because wire cutters. <laughs> you're going to need wire cutters, sorry. And then you're just going to need some different Christmas time floral. We're going to be using some of this stuff. These are different ones I had already. You can go to Dollar Tree and see what you can find to use. So that is pretty much all that is needed for this video. So let's jump in and get started. Alright y'all, so the first thing you need to do is of course take the tag off of the reindeer. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to use, sorry, this as just a way to help Sorry, help stabilize the piece and I'm going to use zip ties and if this doesn't work I will try something else but you're still going to need the zip ties so it'll be fine What I'm doing is I'm just getting them on there and then I'll arrange them the way I want them to be. And then the last one. Sorry, it's going to be right here. And I messed up, but try to get it to the back so you can't really see it that much. And because I have this here, I'm actually going to add some extra that I just thought of. It's, um, I'm going to add some bells, some little mini bells to it. So, there it is. It is pretty much on there good. So, now you're going to flip it over, make sure it's tight, and just cut the piece. I'm going to cut all these off. Alright, so that it helps secure it. And 
And now I'm going to show you why I'm not too concerned about using the zip ties. You're just going, we're just going to take, and I'm just showing you, I haven't, I'm not doing it yet, but we're just going to take and fill in with different pieces of Christmas stuff. What we're trying to do is we're trying to hide the wire and make it look pretty at the same time. So that is the plan. I think that's good and we're going to use zip ties to help hold it together. So. And I'm going to put it in two different spots to make sure that it stays down. Now, I like using zip ties on here just because it just helps hold the stuff in place and you don't have a lot of glue. So, and of course we're going to cut it, which I'm probably going to add one more down to the bottom. We don't need all this. Just to make that a little extra. And if I don't like it, I can easily take this off. Sorry. And I can also glue a leaf there to help also camouflage, but that's what we're doing so far. Now we're going to move on to the next part of it. All right, and it's still the same stuff. We're just going to fill in where we think it would look good and go from there. So there, there is no right or wrong to this, by the way. This is just what you like and what you think will look good. So. I'm going to put like that. I want some of this. I really like this. I'm going to put this in there too. Actually, I think I'm going to put this here because the whole point is to hide some of it. To hide the um, reef frame too. So I like that. Let me see. This is just, like I said, to your taste. So whatever you like is what you're going to do with this. how this looks so we're gonna go with that it doesn't have to completely 100% cover it but the point is to help hide the stuff 
Let me hold this out real quick and go from there. Nope, that is the way I want to do it. Okay. Gotta get it right too, so you're gonna fix it if you mess it up anywhere. I want the leaves up here there to help cover it, so all right, so and this is all we're doing, it's really not that hard to do. here. Sorry y'all. Everything's just sticking in the way. Okay, so. Got you. And I hope this is in camera because this is a big piece and it's hard to get it just the way I want it. Do this here because this needs to be which I kind of already got but I want it to be more and this is honestly just it's not very planned out when you do this it's just what you feel and then I want to do something a little extra where it covers here, so I'm going to go the other way with it. I think I'm going to use this. Plus this. Yes, like that. I like it. I like it already. <laughs> and as you can see, no glue is being used on this project. I might cut this and redo it because I added to it and I need this to work so I'm going to cut that because I added that extra piece on this side and we need it all to work right so. And then we're just going to take and we're going to cut the pieces that are in the way that we don't need. Like that. And I don't want to get that, so I've got to be really careful. There we go. And we're going to cut this. There. There. Now, um... This can be cut because I didn't get it in. The, no, it can't. I didn't get anything. It's fine. I will just. 
add one more because I missed it. And if you miss, it's fine. Just fix it as you go. There we go. I can cut this down. There we go, so it's not as noticeable. This got turned a little. And there's the majority of it. Like I said. And I might add a little glue like right here just to help make sure it stays. But now we're going to move on to the next part, which is the bells, which we are going to need glue for. All right, y'all. So I am going to glue this down like I said, just to give it a little extra stay in power. And I mentioned leaves to help cover any, so I'm going to show you what you can do. I have these leaves that come off of a Christmas plant, Christmas decor piece, um, pick. That's what it's called. And you're just going to, you know, just to make it look like it's part of it, you know, doesn't have to be nothing fancy. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're literally, uh, literally going to glue these two little green bells on the neck like it's a collar. And of course, you know, I'm doing green because the reindeer is red. If it was silver or gold, you could do red or you could do red and green. But that is literally it for this. And I think it came out looking amazing. And I am so happy with this project. And I hope y'all enjoyed watching me make it. And if you did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. But there it is, finished. And I think it looks great. And I'll show you what it looks like hanging up. Alright, y'all. Bye.